In this video, I have compiled a list of the top 5 best digital to analog converters in the market that are worth buying. So let's get started. Number 5 Fittingly named Mojo 2 is the long-anticipated, re-engineered replacement to the 2015 released original, which burst onto the scene as a real benchmark-setting game-changer in the then-fledgling world of portable DeX headphone amps. And while those familiar with Cord's most affordable product will see from the accompanying image that the aesthetic hasn't exactly been overhauled for the sequel, Significant progress has been made elsewhere to protect its position as the pinnacle of portable decks. While from a performance point of view the Mojo 2 can just as confidently raise a hi-fi systems game too, some of those looking for a system boost might reasonably prefer a dedicated system alternative with more suitable connections, such as the Cambridge Audio DAC Magic 200M, below. But for those who are after a primarily portable or desktop DAC solution in this price region, and cannot triple their budget to Cord Hugo 2 territory, we believe the decision to Mojo 2 or not to Mojo 2 is far easier. And what about existing Mojo owners? Honestly, Cord has left us no choice but to recommend the upgrade. Number 4 There are a lot of DAX out there, so best DAC overall is not a label we take lightly. High quality audio is a fickle thing. There are so many factors that play a role in how we hear our music, but like clockwork, the Cambridge Audio Deck Magic 200M gets it right every single time. There were a lot of factors to consider, but at the end of the day, we crowned the Deck Magic 200M as one of the best deck because it provides the highest possible streaming quality for every streaming service, it's easy to set up and easier to use. The whole suite of connections Bluetooth capabilities ensures that any device can sound its best, and of course, it just looks so dang cool. It's no surprise that it's also our best-selling DAC, so don't just take our word for it, though, that is why you're here. A big first for Cambridge Audio, this DAC, Digital Audio Converter, supports MQA. If you don't know, MQA is an award-winning British technology that delivers studio-quality audio with a file size small enough to stream using platforms like Tidal, for example. In fact, the DAC Magic 200M will acknowledge when it's streaming MQA and the indicator on the front will turn blue when streaming an MQA studio file, a file approved in the studio by the artist or producer or has been verified by the copyright owner, or green when playing decoding an MQA music file. The heart of the DAC Magic 200M is a pair of S Saber Digital 2 analog converters. They handle digital audio files up to 32 bit 768 kHz or DSD 512, meaning they can deal with digital music stored on CDs, smartphones, computers, or anywhere else. Once a digital file is uploaded to the DAC Magic 200M, its twin DACs convert it to analog information while keeping all of the original dynamics and detail intact. Because the analog signal it sends to your audio setup is so clean, you'll end up with a sound bigger than the box it came from. Digital optical, digital coaxial and USB inputs mean easy connection for CD players, gaming consoles, laptops, or any other digital equipment. Thanks to its Bluetooth aptics capabilities, it's just as easy to wirelessly deliver files from your smartphone or tablet, too. All in all, this DAC delivers and it's at a mid-range price point for someone looking to upgrade the audio quality of their system. Plus, we trust Cambridge Audio and their reputation for engineering in the pursuit of pure, hi-fi music reproduction. Number 3 The If It Ain't Broke saying isn't lost on us. But at the same time we realize that in a competitive industry such as hi-fi, making the best even better off your own back isn't necessarily a bad idea. It's what iFi has done with its budget home DAC and headphone amp offering, with the originals and DAC now making way for a V2 model that offers improvements in terms of processing, MQA decoding and circuitry. They pay off, as the DAC's current what hi-fi? Award-winning status demonstrates. This budget DAC, 
which can be USB or mains powered, though a mains adapter doesn't come in the box is excellent in both the features and performance department for the money. At one end is a USB Type-E input, plus RCA line and 4.4mm Pentakin balanced outputs. The output of this end DAC can be switched between fixed and variable, meaning the IFI can operate as a digital preamp if you so wish. At the other end is another Pentakin balanced output, which sits alongside the more conventional 6.3mm socket. Offering a significant upgrade over computer sound quality in an era where people need it most, the Zen DAC V2 is another feather in the cap for IFI's budget Zen series. Number 2 If you're looking for a portable DAC, the AudioQuest Dragonfly Cobalt should be your first choice. It's nothing more than a simple USB stick with a 3.5mm headphone output, but what it does is nothing short of extraordinary. The Dragonfly Cobalt delivers lively, exciting sound, and its internal DAC can handle a variety of file formats, including MQA from Tidal. It remains the single most convenient headphone amp we've ever tested, and has the added benefit of looking really cool. The Dragonfly Cobalt is an upgrade of the AudioQuest Dragonfly Red, and it must be said that if you own the original, you don't need to upgrade. The Red costs $200, which is $130 less expensive than the Cobalt, making it much more budget-friendly. However, price aside, we think the Dragonfly Cobalt is an absolutely superb update that offers genuine benefits. If you want a portable headphone amp, this will easily beat models from Audio Lab mentioned below. The Dragonfly Cobalt is light, powerful, and delivers killer sound. Bear in mind that it only delivers file sizes up to 96 kHz, which is a deliberate choice on Audio Quest's part. This isn't necessarily a deal breaker but worth bearing in mind before you purchase. Number 1 Audi 2 DAC FS, Germany's RME cements their place as the best DAC maker on the planet. The Audi 2 is an absolutely gorgeous machine, with a terrific display that gives you full control over your sound. The audio quality is intricate and detailed, relying on RME steady clock system to reduce unwanted noise. Honestly, for this price, we don't think you'll find a better DAC, definitely not one as enjoyable as this. The Audi 2 may not have Bluetooth, like the Cord Electronics Hugo 2, but this German-made wonder is a fantastic wired solution. While we still found ourselves turning to the Hugo 2 for most listening, the Audi 2 has a huge amount of charm to it. The only thing we didn't like was the fiendishly complicated menu system, which relies on a multitude of unintuitive controls to navigate. Regardless, this is a minor setback in comparison to all the pros of the Audi 2. Although RME aren't a household name in audio yet, they've released some solid products that come highly recommended. Thanks for watching guys, that's all for now I hope you guys liked this video, if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure to like comment and subscribe, hope to see you guys in the next video.